The Emperor God of Mankind is currently at the base of Mount Olympus. He's brought with him a large quantity of Ultra Space Marines, 1,500 strong, mayhaps a smidge overkill, but they're going up against the Greenskins. Further down the hill, we have the Black Templars with their chain swords. They are on guard mode, and they are going to be guarding the Cadian Imperial Guardsmen further below and the Death Corps of Krieg who are joining them. These guys are all going up against 7 million Greenskins. We're including Orc Warboys, Goblins, Goblin Archers, and more in these Greenskins army, and they are absolutely deadly. They outnumber by a whole awful lot. It is 7 million versus 86,000. Can they defend the base of Mount Olympus from the Greenskins, or will the Greenskins overtake the Space Marines? If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, guys, let's get right on into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, boys, let's press start and check it out as the Orc War Boys begin to charge forward from Warhammer 40k and in slow-mo here they are getting absolutely slaughtered. Look at that, groups of them getting downed by machine gun fire from the Krieg over this way, very nice. God, they have such cool swords and stuff, man. The Warhammer universe is always so entertaining. I don't do it all the time, but when I do, I have an amazing time because it's just so over the top. So these are the guys in the very front. We'll go ahead and go back into regular speed over here. Uh, and then there's some variations of these orcs, like uh, these guys over here, which we'll go back into slow-mo for, who I think are like orc chieftains or orc berserkers or something along those lines. But they're a little bit stronger. They've got like dragon's wings strapped to their back. I mean, that's <laughs> Kinda cool. And then in the way back, we have the strongest of the orc units back here. Oh, uh, maybe these are the orc chieftains right here. Yeah, I think I think that's who these guys are. And then on the left flank over here is where we've got more of the gobbies, the goblins, the weaker boys. Um, so we've got standard goblin warriors back here, and then all the way further back here last of the units oh no sorry second to last of the units is going to be the goblin archers right here and then there are hobgoblins over this way as well so uh, the greenskins are fielding a wide variety of units we'll go back into normal speed here after just surveying them briefly and the imperial men are fielding even better units they only have 80,000 of them but i mean Already, they've got 35,000 kills and they've lost 30 soldiers, which if they keep up that pace, they will be doing extraordinarily well for themselves throughout the entirety of this battle. I don't think they will continue that pace for very long. I mean, this front line right here is getting really close with these Orc War Boys coming in. This is, is rough. These Greenskins are just licking the front of these... Um, Krieg soldiers right here so the death corps might go down a little bit there um, and then over here on this corner yeah we do have these guys just plowing through them we desperately need uh, these black templars to get to the front lines they are on guard mode so they're gonna start as you can see worming their way through the Cadian guardsmen here but it's gonna take them a little bit to get to that front line here we go some of them getting up here which is great and I think they should be able to get some kills on these guys and slow them down to allow for these Imperial Guardsmen to continue to get more kills and not just completely perish. And of course, we got the Space Marines way up there who actually, they are firing straight into a wall. Well done. Oh, and we've got some uh, Black Templars over here fighting some Gobbies. I guess these guys kind of spawned out of the valley area. There's, of course, this valley down here and then these walls, which are basically 
unbreachable except for if you go all the way around from here, all the way up to flank the Emperor of Mankind, which maybe some goblins will end up doing, I'm not entirely sure, but he is a very, very, very powerful figure, very hard to kill, so he might not end up dying from a few gobbies. It's just funny that these space marines are just straight up shelling a wall and not doing anything about it. Uh, but these Black Templars over here are going to get a lot of kills, I think. They've got about 8,000 health. Uh, their swings can do damage to multiple targets all at once with those chain swords. And it's not just that. It's a lot of damage that they're doing. And these are just gobbies with 150 health. So, yeah. These guys should carve through a solid number of them. They will have a little bit harder of a time with these Orc Berserkers over here. That's what I'm calling them. Um, which, yeah, they are having a little bit trickier of a time. I'd say this is probably an even matching between the two of them. Uh, but we're hoping the Space Marines eventually get to firing at these guys a little bit more and helping them out. And then, of course, we've got the Cadian Guardsmen over here who are spamming some fire into them as well. Uh, to help out in addition to that. So that's very, very good. And then, of course, on the opposite side over here, hopefully these Black Templar uh, soldiers get down to the front lines to help out uh, the Death Corps down here who are getting just full-on trampled now by Greenskins. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Thousands and thousands of them trampling over Death Corps troopers. We've got 217,000 dead Greenskins at this point. 3,700 dead Kriegsmarine, or, well... Sorry, just, just Imperial soldiers in general. And I do apologize if my Warhammer knowledge is not completely great. I started listening to uh, Warhammer lore videos a little bit, but I mean, it's a confusing universe, my guy. It is a very, very confusing universe. All right, we need these Black Templars forward, bro. We need them forward. Holy cow. <laughs> this ain't good. This is not good. I'm doing the math real quick on the kill ratio. And it looks like for every single soldier for the Imperials here, uh, they are getting about 55 kills. So every soldier that dies, uh, on average, will get 55 kills. Of course, there will be some that get no kills. There will be some that get 1,000 kills. But on average, each soldier is getting about that many kills. But the Black Templars really need to get more involved down here if they want their range units uh, to survive a little bit longer. I kind of thought putting them on guard mode here, they'd actually just kind of get forward a lot faster than they are, but they really are not. They're not getting forward fast at all. It's taking them quite some time to worm through the death core here to actually get to the front line. So that's not a great sign, but a few of them are forward here and getting some kills, which is good. This side is definitely a little bit more troublesome. Oh no, but look at this. Look at this. Yes. Yes. The cavalry has arrived, baby. They've come fully forward here. Very nice. Love to see that. Okay, that is fantastic right there. Keep it up, soldiers. Keep it up. We need more of you boys on the field fighting, helping out the range units behind. Because if you help the range units, the range units will help you. And that is just a fact, baby. That is just how this works right now. How much health do these guys have? 7,000 health. So they're actually a little bit weaker uh, than the Black Templars right there. But the Space Marines still just shooting a wall. How are, how are they doing over here against the Gobbies? How are y'all doing against the Gobbies? They've killed a lot of Goblins. <laughs> they have killed a lot of Goblins, and I'm not seeing many dead Black Templars over here. So these guys are in their own little fight of their own, killing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Goblins, if not tens of thousands, potentially. How damaged are some of these guys? Not very. They look very bloody, but it's just like a thousand health or so for each. So that's really not that bad. They're actually doing quite well for themselves over here. All right. Well, that'll be unique to look at in the future. Uh, but let's go ahead and watch as these uh, orc boys charge over here. The green skids currently have lost 400,000 soldiers. The defenders have lost 7,000. It's looking rough, but we've still got the Space Marines who are completely untapped potential during this entire thing so far. Wow, that time lapse really showed a vicious push from the Orc Warboys and then a vicious push back from the Imperials here. The uh, Black Templars here pushing back really, really solidly, actually. Now they're starting to carve out a little bit of a path. That in combination with the machine gun fire from behind them is allowing them to stay in this game for a little bit longer. 
These guys over here are still untouched, which is kind of crazy to me, but uh, some of those stronger units are kind of coming through now as more of the Black Templars over here have died out. So we might be seeing them getting carved through a good bit here, but then eventually these guys will worm their way through the crowd or just get hit and we'll sort of get a pushback again from the Imperial units. Hopefully that's what ends up happening. Not entirely sure if that's what will happen, but it's sort of been a give and take on this battlefield thus far, that's for sure. We're looking at 680,000 dead Greenskins at this point, along with 12,000 dead Imperial units. That's kinda crazy, dude. Warhammer is so fun, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Look, look, comment down below what your favorite universe is. Honestly, Warhammer is not my favorite, but I think it's just because I haven't learned enough about it yet. Every time I learn more about it, I get more and more hyped about it and want to learn more. And that's always the mark of a really good franchise. Um, but I will say, I think Lord of the Rings is still my number one. Those books are just so incredible, and the movies too. Um, the Star Wars, specifically the Clone Wars, is such a close second for me, like unbelievably close. And I don't know if we'll include Harry Potter in this, but I've always been a huge Harry Potter fan um, from the books. Not so much the movies, but the books in particular. So I don't know if we'll include that in this here because it's not really conducive to battle simulator gameplay. But <laughs> I do also really love Harry Potter. Let me know in the comments. Either way, these Templar Knights here who... I don't know if they've really lost too much. They've probably lost a couple soldiers, I'm guessing, but I can't really find their bodies. They're just carving their way through these gobbies. Like, all alone. They, they've lost some health, but nothing too crazy. I think there's enough of them that they can kind of watch each other's backs really, really nicely here. So they, they've ended up killing probably 100,000 goblins all by themselves over here. And this was literally just a group who I accidentally spawned up here. Look, there's still some more up here too who are fighting the goblins in the flank, wow. Uh, like literally, they were not supposed to be here, but the game doesn't make it so you can exactly place things super easily, so they're here. And they are absolutely dominating while they are here. That is crazy, dude. Space Marines still, oh no, they finally are getting some action, yes. All right, Ultramarines firing away down below and they have really good HE explosive shots. So these these are gonna be amazing cover fire uh, for the Black Templars below. That, that is going to be really nice and hopefully amount to quite a number of kills to them. There's still quite a number of Black Templars all around the battlefield here, uh, but these guys over here are slowly getting encircled by those stronger orcs uh, while the right side is pushing outwards. Although every step they push, they thin their line over here bit by bit which does make it a little bit more dangerous for these boys. I don't know, there's a lot of battle to go through here, I will say, but as of right now, it is pretty competitive between the two sides, that is for sure. There's quite a bit of competition going on, and I like it, man. This is great, this is very, very goaded. Um, it's hard to get a good overhead shot here because of, well, all of the trees and stuff like that, but what if we watch the enemies come in from over there? Because I think this will give us a pretty good view of it. We're at 819,000 dead greenskins, 14,000 dead imperials. Okay, we have a hard breach now from the war boys. They made it through. Uh, and are now cutting through the sides of these guys. The right flank, still holding very nicely. I mean, that's good to go. The left flank, where these more powerful orcs are, the berserkers, that is causing some problems. The space marines are starting to get directly attacked. They've got a few soldiers who fell down the mountain here, and so are getting attacked a lot more directly by these guys. Uh, but they're spamming them with all hell here, and hopefully getting some more kills. But uh, that's that's definitely rough. Is the Emperor good up here? Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Oh, these guys have been shooting over this way this whole time too, I guess. Oh, that's nice. All right, <laughs> it might be getting a, a few kills here and there over here just from, just from some random shots off the top of the mountain, but that's good to see. How are our goblin boys doing over here? How are the dudes that are just all alone over here fighting gobbies? They're doing great, they're doing fine. Well, that's good to see. Uh, some areas of this battle are doing quite well. Other areas 
are doing quite poorly. <laughs> it's uh, That's how it goes sometimes. I mean, these guys, the, their problem is they're pushing too far ahead. Once one or two of these guys starts falling because they've pushed so far ahead, it's going to leave gaps in the lines, and then the Orc War Boys are just going to be able to come through. The Greenskins will take advantage of that. A single fallen Black Templar over here could mean detriment for the entire line. And that's why I don't like it when they push too far out like this. And I mean, look at this. The flank is already starting to crumble a little bit here. We're, we're seeing our Skyfall moment. And, uh, you know, the machine gunners over here don't like to see that because that means they're going to start getting slammed from the side even more like is happening over here. So those Black Templars are overextending a good bit here. And it is costing the back lines some soldiers. That, that is really, really not good. These guys off the, the Orc Berserkers are way better than I thought they would be. I mean, they're basically going tit for tat against the Black Templars. That's not a good thing. No, sir. And now they're coming and beelining up towards the Space Marines. Oh, actually, they're flanking around the back. Oh, jeez. Oh, with these guys in the flanks, it could be over. These guys are way more powerful than I thought. Yikes. I mean, if we have the Imperials lose this just super, super quick here, I mean, they're still only 1 million kills for the Imperials. We're totally running it back, baby. We're increasing. The Space Marines are going to be getting some reinforcements. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully these guys can pull through and get some more kills. But at the moment, it's looking real, real rough here. This is not good. Yikes. How are you guys doing over here? I'm surprised the uh, Goblin Archers aren't at the front yet, but I'm not seeing any arrow fire currently. Not that it would do like a crazy amount of damage to these guys because they have such heavy armor, but... I mean, it would probably do a little bit of damage, that's for sure. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is wicked bad. Uh, we can we can watch this play out, but uh, it's bad. Okay, so... Yeah, we're losing. <laughs> Those guys trampled really, really quickly there. We've still got the Templar Knights over here, but uh, they're getting surrounded now. Uh, the, the lines have broken and they're just getting surrounded by everyone um, up here it looks like they did push excuse me hiccup push further up but it's not gonna go well no sir no sir uh, and then we've got the space marines here but the space marines they're clutch space marines are great in the clutch man they're like MJ in, in, you know game six just wonderful <laughs> They're they're incredible, so they're still holding on. We still got the Emperor back here, too, so let's keep that in mind, all right? It's, you know, these enemies are getting close, but it's not Jover yet. We still got time for a W, so we'll see if it happens. Lord only knows at this point. Let's run it. All right, as of right now, the 1,500 or so... Oh, no, there's 783 remaining troopers. The 783 <laughs> Space Marines are holding out really, really nicely here. I mean, just spamming fire down the canyon, getting kills, easy claps, easy money. That's what we're talking about. Is there anyone flanking? Oh, wait. Yeah. Look at that. Some gobbies are coming around the flank here. Wow. No one's really made it over here, though. Oh, it looks like the Emperor of Mankind got to curb stomp one singular goblin. <laughs> hey, man, he, he's getting bored. They, they got to give him something to do. Um, I think all the ones over here died, and that's why they're able to route around the flank here and get boogie in that way. But as of right now, I mean, the Space Marines have lost very little. They're holding out really, really nicely. This could be a wash. This could just be dominant victory here. Let's get the overhead, overhead time lapse going. All right, well, it's been about 20 minutes here, and the Space Marines are just chilling, vibing, killing orcs. Having a great time, man. Having a great time. Really no problems at all. Barely anyone's actually getting over here. Most of them are getting shot way before they come over here. Are they like glitching too? 
No, they're coming. It's just, they're just dying. <laughs> All right, why don't we just go ahead and let this run? And I think I would, I'll just let this run for like a couple hours. I'm probably gonna go like take the dog for a walk. I'll come back. And then um, I think the Space Marines just win this, but I'd like to run this again and change it up a little bit so the Space Marines don't become like an all powerful thing at the end. All right, boys. Well, it's been uh, just over two hours right now. And let's see what we're looking at. Okay, 687 Space Marines still alive. 2.2 million orcs left alive. So clearly the Space Marines are just chopping them to bits, just absolutely destroying them. I don't think there's any chance of them losing this. Like literally 0% chance of them losing this. So I'd like to go ahead and redo this battle and change it up so it's not just the Space Marines carrying at the very end. Because without the Space Marines, they would definitely lose. <laughs> so, why don't we go ahead and real quick, let's just do little nuke. Well, that's always fun. That's just a good time. That's just a good time right there. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And now, let's redo this battle a little bit just for fun. Because that is a clear-cut Space Marine victory. Okay, we've altered this battle pretty considerably. So first of all, those really OP guys, we're knocking them down to just 500,000 versus the 2 million they had. They were way too OP. And on top of that, <laughs> the OP guys for the Imperials here, the Space Marines, we're knocking them down a lot too. There's only 200 of them this time. Yeah, way smaller amount. There are more Black Templars. There are more uh, machine gunners down here as well. So let's go ahead and press start and see what happens this time. It's going to be a little bit more evenly paced of a battle this time around uh, because both sides uh, have lost some of their more strong units but have bolstered their weaker units by just a little bit. So definitely a bit of a difference here. We'll see how it goes. Over here, a big difference is now we have some of these Death Corps troopers actually fighting directly against some Gobbies over here, so that's kind of fun to see. Um, again, the Gobbies are super duper weak, so the Death Corps might just be able to take care of them completely. <laughs> that just is an entirely possible situation. But of course, the Goblin Rangers are really, really far away, but they could have an impact. Also, those Mob Goblins could come in and do some serious damage as well. That could be kind of interesting to see. Um, but of course, the Oak War Boys coming in over here too. Uh, again, I mean, last time around, they were able to get up to the uh, ranged units with relative ease, but they did have the advantage of having those extra strong units at the front lines. This time they're in the back lines, so now the Orc War Boys might have a lot harder of a time getting up there. And there are some Templar Knights kind of coming on in here and just messing them up a little bit. Just coming in the side and just starting to wail on them, get tons of kills, and provide cover for the soldiers behind them who are spraying their machine guns out. So, a pretty good strategy going on all over the place here. Seems like definitely the uh, Imperial units are going to have an easier time at the start this time versus last time around, but the ending could be way harder this time. We'll just have to wait and see because the ending last time ended up being super duper easy for the Imperials, but the start was really hard and we could have the reverse going on this time. We have again sort of these random straggler Templar Knights going up against a ton of goblins all over the place, so that is going to be a constant thread here of just more goblins versus Templars and the Templars absolutely destroying them, and that'll be just really fun. <laughs> that would be really pretty great to see. Um, but once those stronger units start getting into play, I think we'll see a lot more interesting things happening. Why don't we go ahead and watch uh, the battle unfold here from up overhead as these Black Templars sort of come down from the mountain and fight against the Orc War Boys here in, in a pretty brutal fashion with cover fire coming from above, just like before. Let's do it. All right, honestly, maybe this time around, too many Templar Knights, too many Black Templars out here. They are just absolutely cutting up a rug and pushing super far out against these orcs and getting a ton of kills. Yeah, mayhaps we're running into the opposite problem. Of course, the really good boys back here are still not involved just yet. There's some of them right there. 
They will get involved fairly soon, but already 1,100, or sorry, 1 million, 100,000 kills for the uh, the defenders and 860 kills for the attackers. So yeah, maybe a little bit of an overcompensation this time. Maybe we screwed up. Uh, yeah, because the first time it was definitely way too defender sided with all of those space marines. This time I tried to make the defenders weaker, but at the same time, there's just too many Black Templar Knights. Maybe the solution is after this round, we go ahead and bring back, you know how I lowered the really OP guys down to 500,000? Maybe we bring back the 2 million of them and force it down mid, but this time with the same number of Black Templars, because there's a lot more Black Templars on the battlefield this time and a lot more of the ranged units too. So maybe that's what we do once this battle's over to even it out. Unless something crazy happens and these guys end up somehow fumbling the bag here but i kind of doubt that because they right now are going on an absolute tear they are just absolutely dominating so let's let them continue to dominate but we might have to run it back again well boys maybe we aren't going to need to do another round because now those uh, orc berserkers and chieftains have made it to the front lines and once again they are messing up the black templar knights quite a bit uh not like a staggering amount but the 500,000 of them on the battlefield making it to the front lines is a really really big deal here and it's actually causing some strife for these guys of course in the areas where they are not the black templars are still going absolutely ham but in the areas where they are we're starting to see pushback of course more reinforcing black templar knights are coming up to the front lines here so mayhaps it's still going to be a little bit of a rough awakening for many of these orcs but a very very big deal uh, that some of them are uh, starting to be put on the back foot by these newcomers here so kind of crazy We'll let it ride, but uh, yeah, maybe we aren't going to need to go ahead and, and run it once more because right now, I don't know, it's, it's, getting, it's getting a little bit more even keel. It's getting even here, so it's very good to see 2 million dead orcs, uh, 7,200 dead defenders. All right, boys, I let this run for another like 20 minutes and already 2.8 million kills for... Uh, the defenders here. The orcs, though, make it a comeback with 18,000 kills, and they're back up to the front lines. So while they were pushed back all the way over here, now they are back up to the front lines over this way. Let's check in on the uh, middle ground where, okay, these guys are doing a lot better because we have a mixture of Imperial Guardsmen and uh, Krieg boys over here, so they're able to, you know, field a lot more firepower over this way. But a large swarm of orcs starts coming on in here, and they're going to start tearing these guys apart. Yikes! Oh, it's real. The charge is real here, and these guys are getting mowed down. So the reckoning has come, and despite me at the very beginning of this thinking, oh my goodness, wow, these guys suck. Huh, we're going to have an easy victory here for the defenders. Not the case. They are coming back, and they are destroying. They're like a swarm of locusts coming in and just absolutely gobbling down all of these dudes oh, look how fast they move dude that is just unreal how quickly they move through these guys that's insane still a ton of templar knights back here those are black templars whatever you want to call them um and over here we're still doing quite well actually in fact the gobbies over here are having a real bad time the gobbies are getting absolutely dominated by these guys look at that unreal so that's going to continue for a while of those uh, black templars coming through and a few of them are just like in the middle surrounded but still getting kills way to go boys way to go that's what i'm talking about that's what we like to see we're about to crest over three million kills uh for the defenders and uh, we've got fifty-two thousand of them remaining that's just insane, man. This battle is crazy. We've still got these Space Marines up top here, along with, of course, the head honcho. Did the Emperor of Mankind not spawn in? Where's the Emperor of Mankind? He's supposed to be right here. He 
may not have spawned in, which would be a huge problem. Did he spawn at the top, maybe? Uh, I think the mountain might have deleted him. That's really bad, if true. Unless he's, like, falling down somewhere. Wait. Oh, he's down. How did he get down here? He's just goating it down here. I don't know how he got down here, but he's here. And he is uh, killing some goblins. Hey, good for you, bro. Good for you. Why don't we time lapse this? Because why not? Yo, did the Emperor die? Or did he. Did he die? We were just watching him. Hold on, I walked away. <laughs> wow. Oh no, he's just getting juggled around over here. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, I can't believe he died. Uh, no. He's being a human trampoline right now over this way. <laughs> he's getting juggled. <laughs> this is not very befitting of the Emperor God King of Man. Uh... Maybe stop humiliating my boy? Maybe let him chill? What the? He's still getting kills. Even though he's getting juggled, he's getting kills. So props to my mans. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, back to the front. We've got the boys starting to fire up. Starting to juice some of the enemies here. And we've still got more Templar Knights over here. And this is a good combo because we've got the Space Marines firing and getting kills. While these guys... Uh, sort of enter into the fray and also get some kills. We're looking at 4 million dead green skins at this point. Still so many troopers over here fighting too. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> this is a, a big boy battle. Green skin... Uh, well, there's only 3,000 remaining defenders actually. So there's really not a lot of them. Green skins still have one point... I think it says 3.9 million. It's hard because my uh, stream overlay is over it. But um, either way... The fact that there's only uh, 2,200 remaining defenders is not a very good thing. The Emperor is just getting juggled over here. He's still getting kills, which is crazy. But, yeah, it's kind of humiliating at the moment. And the Space Marines over this way are going to have to deal with a whole truckload of boys once these Black Templars end up dying, which surely they will. And we'll see if 200 Space Marines this time can do what 1,500 did last time. I kind of doubt it but just maybe and then of course these guys over here are still trucking on forward and still getting a crazy number of kills and distracting literally half of the enemy army so that's a good thing as well uh but yeah for right now this is an absolutely crazy battle i'm having a ton of fun with these green skins and uh space marines and stuff like that i hope you guys are too by the way i did upload a video uh earlier today it should come out for uh, Manor Lords, if you guys are interested at all in that series. Um, it's a game that has been announced years ago and is one of the most wishlisted on Steam ever, uh, and it is fantastic, and I got early two weeks access to it, so thank you to the developers for that, and it's a really fun game and uh, made a really fun video with it. Look at this. I think all of these kills are from the Emperor. I don't know where he went off to, though. Is he still alive out here? Yep, there he is. <laughs> still alive, still getting some kills, but still getting juggled. Oh, this poor, poor lad. That's just crazy. Still getting so many kills, though. What a Chad! What a Giga Chad! Go off, King! Well, go off, Emperor. <laughs> Alright, let's time lapse the uh, Space Marines up here, though, because I think the Emperor is going to be very hard to time lapse here. And uh, you can watch as those Black Templars down at the bottom slowly get killed, and eventually these guys end up charging the Space Marines up here. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, the Space Marines have not been as lucky this time around. Only 120 remaining, and uh, 1.7 million enemies remaining. Whatever happened with the Emperor, he could still be bouncing around, I'm just saying. Oh, he is. He is. What a legend. He's still out here. He's still going. How much health does he have? Uh, can we check? 
He's still got a lot of health. This boy's got a lot of health. He can die, though. He can die. He's just got a lot of health. Um, wow. Very interesting. Um, but the Space Marines are looking like probably... Probably a no-go up here. I don't know. They just don't have the firepower this time, I guess. Last time, they literally just cut up these guys. And just absolutely annihilated them. But this time, with only 200 of them, they're down to 112 now. And it, they're just slowly kind of dying out. So I, I think they don't have it this time. But uh, we will let it play, man. Yep, the green skins and orcs and all that seems to have actually knocked off most of the space marines down here. So there's still 45 of them remaining, still pouring that explosive fire down. I mean, this explosive fire is powerful, man. Like, look at this. We're getting kills upon kills. Well, it says one kill, but I mean, I'm pretty sure we're getting uh, tens of kills per shot into these guys. Um, but because it's explosive damage, it doesn't necessarily always register right away. So there's that. But I mean... These guys are technically still capable of getting a lot of kills. And then the Emperor is probably still alive. I'm guessing. Oh, wait. I saw movement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'm not going to time lapse this because it is going to... Um, uh, fill up my storage way too much if I did. But we're going to let this play for a while longer, man. <laughs> I think it's just shockingly the space marines might be able to do it just based on them chilling on the mountainside. But uh, we'll see. There are orcs like going up uh, after them and, and, you know, falling down. So they might be able to like kind of push them further down. And if they do that, then they can get the kills on them. So, yeah. It's definitely a, uh, a little bit of a cheap win for the Space Marines if they do win, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'll be back in a jiffy for you. All right, boys. Well, it's been another hour here, actually, and we're down to 1.47 million uh, orcs. Or is that 1.1? 1 .1? No, it's 1.47. So the number, I think I said like 1.3 earlier. So that number was incorrect. <laughs> it was blocked. I'm guessing it was an 8 then because 3 is kind of similar to 8. It's just, I have this transparent overlay that makes it really hard to read. Um, I'm looking for the Emperor. Did he die? Uh, the Emperor might have died. Yeah, I do not see him anymore. I don't really see any movement. So me thinks the Emperor was killed. Oh no! <gasps> He's here! Oh my god. That is all Goblin Ranger arrows. I forgot about the Goblin Rangers. So this guy's just getting hit by Goblin Ranger arrows. <laughs> so he technically will die at some point here. It's just gonna take a while. Um, and then, yeah, why don't they send the Goblin Rangers over this way to shoot the Space Marines left alive over here? Well, they're, they're orcs, so they're not very smart. <laughs> I think we are going to go ahead and end this episode here, but a uh, pretty crazy battle altogether. I mean, tons uh, tons of dead everything everywhere. Um, you can call this... Uh, uh, it's not really a Space Marine victory. With 1.4 million soldiers remaining, they will be able to kill the Emperor here eventually. He's like basically hard locked here where he can't move because of the sheer number of arrows. So he's basically just trapped in a prison, unable to get kills, except for the few foolish soldiers who charge at him. But the archers are just able to chill on the sidelines here, firing relentlessly, and he is trapped by these arrows, unable to move. So he will die eventually. It'll just take a few hours. And then those goblin archers will just come for the Marines next and kill them. Um, however, for now, they're just vibing up here. So guys, without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.